just going to admit the fact that I watched Bra- Black Adam again for the second time to find out if I can find anything that is worthy of being in some kind of a canon. What up, Posse? Hey, this is Brandon. And I'm Mark. And I'm not Mark. My point being is this. I, I think I found a couple of the fatal flaws of Black Adam, and I'm just going to go over really quick two things. One, way too long. Two, I mean way too long. Three, and I know I said two, way too long. There's that one point in the movie where he's rising up to be Shazam, say Shazam again. They did that in five to seven minutes, and they could have done that in four seconds. It's just in the fact that Hawkman was a protagonist. It was. It didn't really make any sense to me, and I still can't watch it. So I don't know why I even brought this whole thing up. Dead technology. You want to show that? That movie's as dead as this technology. <laughs> One billion dollars. Uh, I bought a Philips DVD player because I'm taking it to the gym. I am hijacking one of the TVs in front of the cardio machines, and I'm going to just start playing my own stuff. <laughs> so there. <laughs> um, I also got... <laughs> I love it. I also got these DVDs. Season 1 Night Court. Great, great show. Amazing show. Uh, great cast. Marky Post, Mark's favorite. Mark Love. That's not in that episode, uh, that season. That's though. not her though. No, nope, that's because of season one. She didn't come in until the middle of season two, and then look, stayed. this isn't her either. No, because they changed her around like three or four times. Oh, that's dude. not her either. Yeah, she sucked. Yeah, so that's, that was the worst of the night court. So season three, there's there your girl. Is. There there's she your is. Girl. John Larroquette. This guy. This guy yeah. was awesome. John Larroquette. Funny, so funny. In and so cringy because there is an actual episode where all of his uh, military buddies come into town to hang out with him, and one of them trans uh, trans is into a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, I remember that. Do you yeah. remember that? Yep. And it was so cringy because he was so mean and aggressive and unnecessarily just. It was the '80s, people. But it's so fun to watch because we're when people think that we haven't evolved, watch some stuff like that. So. Well, you know they're. You, did you bring these out because they're rebooting, rebooting it? Series? Yeah, that too. Wait, are they rebooting? Yeah, they're rebooting it. Yeah. And, How many uh, seasons did they go for? Uh, I believe it went for nine. It went for a lot. It was one of those at like what twenty to twenty five episodes. Of <sighs> probably twenty three, thirty two, something like that. Yeah. The I forget her name, but it's the uh, girl from The Big Bang Theory is gonna. She uh, apparently is mom? his daughter. Ha, ha, ha. So she'll be like What's Harry's face, daughter. Kelly Cuoco. No. Yeah. No. No. Which Malik Bly Blanham? No, the other, uh, the one that dated. The blonde one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. The one that dated uh, Horowitz or whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Who's the wits? Who cares? Who's the fats? <laughs> wow. This one, we had. You want to do that? Let's do that one. This is different. Uh, yeah, it's a different one. It's the different version from uh, NECA instead of, uh, what was the other? Loyal Subjects, I think. I got to say, I like this one better. Yeah. Even though they're not very poseable because they're naked, but... Yeah. Well, come on, let's be honest. Am I ever going to take this out of the package? No, no. I would. <laughs> hey, hey. I like the writing. Are they artwork on the side? That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you go to the side again, it's got a little reminiscent that looks like the, uh, the capture pack for uh, Ghostbusters. You see that? No, on the other side. Oh, you mean like the building? No, or yeah, that mean... building looks like uh, like the thing that they trap ghosts in. Oh. Yeah, I could see where you'd say you that. You know what I'm saying? But only no. you would say that. Only me. Only Chad. Because I'm the only one right. Yes, Brandon, you want to show it right there in your and pretty little d- camera? No. So <laughs> you guys know that uh, <laughs> no. McFarlane is going to make Turtles. Oh, of course he is. Of course he is. Okay, McFarlane, I'm only going to give you so many times. Moonstone, this is a Walgreens exclusive. Walgreens, I'll tell you what, they just had all their legends on sale for $6.99. But this was brand new and it showed up in like a day. Like, if you order stuff from Walgreens, they're really on it with like their new releases. Like, it's, oh, your order has shipped. Wow. So this is Moonstone. She's a member of the Thunderbolts. She was originally uh, hooked up with uh, Baron Zemo and the Masters of Evil. And, you know, she's like a psychiatrist that came upon some powers. 
Great story. Great story. I've never heard I of that. I have never. Serious? No. no. The, you know the uh, San Diego Comic Con Thunderbolts box set? Yeah. yeah. She's in that. Oh, I just never heard of Moonstone. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Man. No, I. She's no, been around I... for a long time. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about Hero. All the ventures. Everybody villain. knows, and not this Moonstone character. You, you know, you, you notice that Mark just tried to really pitch that like it's a great grab. Yeah, right. Oh, yes. I went to Walgreens, and oh my God, I got the best no, one I, ever. I ordered it. Oh, you ordered it. Pre-ordered it. <laughs> so how many different colors do you have of this? Oh, Babylon? God. Is that number 973? Uh, I have blue, black, and red so far. I'm sure I'll buy, be buying the next one they release as well. I got about five of these ones. Of course you yeah, do. Yeah, of course you do. I'm just jealous because I didn't get pick it up yet. <laughs> and th- I'm not. These are you and you guys and these money grabs. I mean... They, it's a dollar. Eight that's the whole cents. thing. It's just a dollar, and that's how they get you. It's a dollar too much. What's for next, Chad? Brandon? Exactly. I'm not giving you seven cents. What do you need twenty cents for? Can we just st- like how many uh, how many Hot Wheels do you have, sir? I don't have any. Wayne has like a thousand. Oh, but oh, he's just oh, holding them. But, he's just oh, holding so, you, them for so your storage. I don't know. Means. You're just covering up that microphone so or that camera so well, though. I'm sorry, but no, I you're had not. To, Go. I had to. He need he needed to cover it up for a second. Uh, so this <laughs> with, with his I'm shame. Covering it up now. <laughs> All the shame. All right. Yes, that's Moon Knight. That's a classic Moon Knight. Like that. Like unlike the stupid series i didn't like did you guys like that at all i did i like the series until they until they showed the hippo i was really liking the series you gotta throw some weird stuff in there it's a moon knight all right here's your bobby digital this is brand another one one. Mm -hmm. i'll be all i'm all down on the Uh, of course you are would you pay for that 17 bucks 17 that thing cost them about Probably a dollar, if that. Yeah. The coloring of the packaging is probably. More <laughs> but I could expensive. sell this for forty right now. Okay. Right was there. it was it a limited pre-order? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not like oh hey, we got thousands of these to sell. It's like when they're gone, they're gone. Oh okay. Well, if they're gone, they're gone. I would think they probably made five thousand. Right, I'll send you a picture in Target when I see them. <laughs> when they're on clearance, and you'll be like, "Please do." In fact, why don't you buy them? To be like, no, the decimal there. point's wrong. It's really forty dollars, oh, not four dollars. Last and absolutely not least in the bit, one of my favorite shows, Spider Man and His Amazing Friends, circa nineteen eighty eighty one. It lasted for a season and a half until it turned into just Spider Man. They literally took them out sad and then they got rid of the voice of spider-man which was really good too one of my favorite cartoons of all time so cool you just watch oh no you watch <sighs> and it's a things. marvel legends reluctantly yeah i know so people's yeah. big grief about this is they really don't like the way iceman's face turned out mm. i don't mind it <coughs> I, I mean can, i yeah, feel I like know. as far as a box set goes they look great <laughs> they have the dog too yeah yeah well, the only thing, the gripe that I would have if you turn around in the front and show the front again, close up of Firestar, I don't believe, yeah, okay, they showed it, never mind. She didn't have a collar. She didn't have like a 70s collar. She doesn't there. Yes, she does. Oh, she does yeah. on the back. Like yeah. the Nightwing disco collar. Exactly. Brandon, where can we be found on the interwebs? We can be found on the interwebs here on YouTube. Uh, so don't like and subscribe. Thre- don't threaten. I'm not. I'm strongly suggesting you might end up with sleeping with the fishes if you don't, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but you can find us on Instagram, the real Toy Posse underscore, and MN Toy Posse. You can find us on Twitter at Toy Posse and on Facebook, MN Toy Posse and the Toy Posse. Mark, do you have anything to add? Meet me at the dock at 5 o'clock. Don't forget your galoshes. I'll bring the shovels. <laughs> <laughs> we know who you are. Hi, I'm actor Troy McClure. <laughs> you, you, uh, you may know me of some such endings of episodes as this one. <laughs> See ya.